Hi, I'm Jenna Kennedy and I teach second grade at Center Grove Elementary and today we're going to be talking about some addition strategies that you can use. So the first one is using an open number line. So what you're going to do is just draw a straight line and you're going to look at your addition problem and you will pick your first number so you're going to draw a little dash and write 34. And since we're adding 40, we're going to do tens jumps and count by tens until we reach 40. So we will start here and jump 10, 20, 30, 40. Now, if it helps you, you can put a little reminder above each bump that you are adding 10. If you can just remember it, you can leave that part empty. But then we're going to write underneath and we're at 34 and we're going to add on 10 more and we will get to 44 then 54, then 64, and then 74, so that we know that our sum is going to equal 74. Now you can use the same strategy if you are adding, and it's not just a number with a zero in the ones place. So we're going to start the same way and draw our open number line and start with 34. Now our digit is a four in the tens place, so we're still going to do our four tens jumps so 10, 20, 30, 40, but now we need to do ones jumps. And since there's a five in the ones place, I'm going to do five ones jumps. And I like to make mine look a little bit different so I don't get confused. So I'm gonna make these more pointy and I'm gonna jump one, two, three, four, five. So I will count on the same way with my tens jumps. So 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, and now I'm going to count on and add by ones. So 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. So we know that our sum is 79. Now another strategy that you can use when adding is called break apart. So you're going to write your addition problem again. So if we had 34 plus 45 and we're going to break it apart into the tens and the ones so it's easier to add. So on 34, the three represents 30 and the four represents four ones. Then do the same thing with 45. The four represents 40 and the five represents five ones. Now you're going to combine your tens and your ones. So you're going to add 30 plus 40 and you will get 70. Now we're going to combine our ones. Four plus five equals nine. And the last step is you put them all together. So you have 70 plus nine, and it equals 79. And there you have it.